where what should franchisees franchisors be doing from a content perspective like organ like their own producing their own content what's the you know repurposing whatever like where would you go with content if you had to give uh someone that was just getting started with it some direction in 60 seconds uh it's take a little longer than 60 seconds but um i'm gonna give you my template i'm thinking about starting an agency that does nothing but this okay so y'all can give me feedback on if this is good here's what you do you shoot a video you shoot one video a week you can do this every friday and it should be a half hour to an hour. If you can't talk about what you do for a living for a half hour, you don't deserve to do that thing for a living. So nobody fight me on the fact that, oh, what do I talk about? Like, dear God in heaven, people ask you questions, have issues, best practices, FAQs, products, services, manufacturing process, standard operating procedures, hiring, value proposition. Like you have things to talk about. I know that. So you shoot a video, let's say it's a half hour a week. That's not insurmountable. Everybody here could carve out a half hour a week where you sit in front of the, the camera and you cover five topics. Okay, so half hour a week covering five topics. So far, does that feel accessible? I'm getting kind of like, nah, I don't like this guy. All right, so you're shooting a half hour video covering five topics a week. You have a, a Filipino VA who costs you $500 a month for part-time work. That's my front row dad talk in 30 minutes, by the way. I'm gonna teach people how to hire this VA. So if you're an FRD, come over and hang out with me there. That VA cuts that video into five separate videos and puts them on YouTube. So now you have one YouTube video for a day, which is what YouTube wants to see. They want you to see shooting one video a day, every single day in 90 days, you start to get prioritized in the YouTube ecosystem. And you actually start to get to rec recommended. So it has its own title, its own description. You have your five YouTube videos. From each one of those YouTube videos, you cut two snippets, two 60 second snippets. Those snippets go into Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter. And now all of a sudden you just carpet bombed your entire ecosystem, your entire social channel with an immense amount of high, high, high value content. And of the snippets, you can actually take text and you can do Instagram uh, uh, slides and you can do uh, tweets. And so now you've covered every single social channel on the planet for a half hour a week. And you pull the audio from that half hour a week and now you have a podcast. And if you want to bundle that podcast together at the end of the year and throw it a ghostwriter, now you have a book. And if you want to sew those videos together and do it the right way, now you have a course. So in a half hour a week, I just taught everybody how to be the most prolific content creators on the planet. A little bit of elbow grease getting the systems up and running. But once it's up and running, it's done forever. I think Joe just had a stroke. <laughs> every franchisor should be doing that. <laughs> Any specifics on the, on the type of video? Just a talking Dude, straight into the camera? Go to my YouTube channel. I have no production value. I have a three-year-old webcam. And well, the mic was given to me by digital marketers. So this is a good one. But like, I don't just, here's, people don't want high production value. They want to feel like they're talking to their buddy. Yeah. So just hop on from anywhere. All the highest, look at Evan Carmichael. All the highest traffic YouTubers are just, they're just organic and authentic. And I've got ums and ahs and I'll figure things out on my video. I mean, you've seen the way I've talked to you here. That's what my videos are like. 